Well, hello, fellow herpetology enthusiasts. I'm coming to you today from the Mojave Desert, here to talk to you about how climate change has affected one of my favorite species, the desert tortoise. The Mojave Desert is the youngest desert in North America, a mere 10 to 15,000 years old, having formed after the end of the last ice age during the Pleistocene era. During the Pleistocene, the Mojave was dotted with lakes and rivers and a landscape that was dramatically different than the parched, arid desert we know today. One of the Mojave Desert's most recognizable species is the Mojave Desert Tortoise. Gopharis agassizii. The desert tortoise has evolved to survive in one of the hottest and driest climates in North America. Its distribution spans from southern Utah, Nevada, southern California, and its sister species, the Sonoran desert tortoise in Arizona and northern Mexico. There are six species of tortoises in North America known for their ability to dig extensive burrows and survive in arid climates. The Mojave Desert Tortoise is evolved to survive the extremes of this landscape. But how might anthropogenic climate change affect this species in the future? Extensive drought and extreme heat paired with the introduction of invasive plant species has led to the increase of brush fires in the Mojave Desert. In a landscape that never evolved with fire, plants such as the iconic Joshua tree and many cactus species succumb to the flames, devastating the landscape and the habitat for many species. When prolonged drought has affected populations of species such as rabbits and rodents, predators like coyotes and badgers are forced to turn to more difficult prey items such as tortoises. Persistent drought conditions, especially over winter, reduce the growth of annual plants that are important food sources for juvenile tortoises thereby reducing recruitment of future generations of tortoises. Anthropogenic climate change can affect tortoise reproductive biology as well. Female desert tortoises choose nesting sites in soft, sandy soils at the base of shrubs or within their burrows in locations with just the right temperatures to incubate their eggs. During incubation, the gender of the tortoises is determined by the conditions within the nest. Average nest temperatures at 31 degrees Celsius or below produce male tortoises, while temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius or above produce females. Temperatures in between 31 and 32 produce a mix of sexes. Recent science with other turtle species suggests climate change will skew gender ratios in favor of more females. How this will affect future tortoise populations is unknown. Historical climate patterns in the Mojave are described as mild winters, with the majority of rainfall happening in December to March. Spring comes early here. Annual plants, having germinated in winter rains, burst with colorful flowers pollinators busily move from flower to flower 
and tortoises spend many hours above ground feeding on succulent plants. Spring quickly fades to summer. The annual plants senesce as the heat and low humidity dominate this season. Occasional monsoon storms, the only relief from the searing summer heat and drought. Summer-like conditions linger into early autumn. As fall takes hold, mild daytime temperatures are contrasted with cold, clear desert nights. The landscape, hopefully awaiting the Pacific storms that bring winter rains yet again. This year's extreme drought was momentarily relieved with a string of isolated monsoon storms. Rainwater washed through arroyos and tortoises came out in droves to drink, filling their bladders as water storage systems to last until the next rainy cycle. Recent winters in the Mojave have been among the driest in recorded history, and climate models suggest a drier future in this already parched landscape. These recent years just might be a glimpse into the climatic changes we might expect in the desert southwest, with extensive drought dominating, only occasionally punctuated by heavy rains. Will this new climatic normal be more than the desert tortoise can handle? Will it be able to find pockets of suitable habitat within this changing landscape? I sure hope so. And I hope future study of this place and this amazing species can help to safeguard these future tortoise habitat hotspots.